E-commerce boom driving rapid adoption of cobots. By James McHugh. The retail landscape has transformed dramatically from the continuous digitalization of the industry, exacerbated by the onslaught of the pandemic. Consumers in the Asia-Pacific are now increasingly connected digitally with a shift in their buying habits, and are now more at ease clicking on smartphones to purchase all manners of products, than to visit offline shops in malls. Statista reported more than a 20% rise of the average online spending in the Asia-Pacific from 2019 to 2020. The rise in multiple marketplaces in Asia-Pacific such as JD, Taobao, Lazada, Tokopedia and Shop are testimony to this flourishing trend in retail and e-commerce. With the evolution of retail emerged new opportunities in related industries, such as a growing pie of warehouses, distribution centers, DCs, and fulfillment centers, FCs, and in turn, these industries seeking productivity and automation capabilities. The Rise of the Machines For years, DCs and FCs were resistant to adopting robots in warehousing despite embracing many other technologies. Some of these companies were concerned about the perceived inflexibility, safety, investment burdens of adopting industrial robots into their workflow. However, the coming of age of collaborative robotics alleviated the shortcomings of traditional industrial robots. Now, collaborative robots, cobots, are ideal for repetitive tasks in DCs and FCs that require high accuracy to reduce costly errors or returns, while freeing human workers to take care of other upstream and downstream processes. When dealing with dull and repetitive tasks, human workers can become fatigued and lose their concentration. Unlike human workers, cobots are capable of automating operations around the clock and significantly reduce human errors. As such, cobots are best suited for many supply chain environments, such as pick-and-place processes, relieving the burden on the human workforce. Unlike traditional industrial robots that required safety fencing and operating footprint, cobots can easily work alongside human workers with no safety fencing required. Upon risk assessment, cobots can also be easily deployed, programmed, and guided to adapt to many repetitive tasks in the supply chain environment. For instance, DCL Logistics, an omni channel logistics company riding on the explosive growth and demands of e commerce, sought a flexible automation solution that would integrate with the existing work cell arrangement and precisely handle the picking and packing processes in the center. In the past, Five employees were required to manage a conventional manual picking process that could take an entire day to complete. With the deployment of cobots, employees were redeployed to more sophisticated tasks. Unlike traditional industrial robots that have a long payback period, the cobots achieved payback in as little as three months, prompting DCL Logistics to look forward to investing in more cobots as their operations expand. The company has managed to save more than 50% in labor costs and witnessed up to a 500% increase in productivity after the implementation of cobots. More automation upside for supply chain. The ongoing pandemic has brought about a drastic shift in the e-commerce sector and consumerism. With an increasing need to improve product quality output and speed of routine processes in the supply chain industry. More companies like DCL Logistics are expected to embrace automation. In a recent market research report, Global Market Estimates GME, highlighted a forecasted value of more than 40.5% CAGR growth in the supply chain collaborative robots market from 2021 to 2026. According to GME, packaging and palletizing will maintain a large share of Cabot adoption over the next few years. As the e-commerce sector continues to foster and consumer demands establish new standards, cobots have presented an optimistic fringe for the retail industry. With the added value to human workers, top supply chain executives are aggressively ramping up collaborative automation in their facilities. Distribution centers and fulfillment centers looking to adapt to accelerated market demands, would have to scale up their operations with automation, increasing the speed of order fulfillment while retaining their talent pool in order to etch deep and stay relevant in the competitive market. About the author
James Mku is the regional director Asia Pacific Universal Robots. This is an opinion column. The views and opinions expressed in this article are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of this publication.